I'm a dog trapped in prison because there are bars and I can only see in black and white. Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Super Hero Mario. In the last episode, we made through chapter 8 1, got to chapter 8 2, got tricked and got thrown into prison. That's basically it. In this episode, we're breaking out. It's a prison break! <laughs> I'm getting way too into this. Anyway, wanna break out and we're out here. Now, important. I'm gonna check something real quick. It's on the left side. By the way, check out what happens if you go into a pipe that's not connected to. Watch. <laughs> that's what happens. Anyway, you wanna go through this left door right here. Trust me, this all makes sense in a second. Ooh, fire bars! I haven't seen you since chapter one. And there's a reason! You're no threat at all with this game! Oh, new enemy! Red Magic Blile! Analyze this instant. But this block. On the left side, if you hit this block, it'll move that pipe over to the left. Now, is that Red Magic Blile actually gonna appear or not? Or is it only 3D? Even if. Okay, I'm, not, I'm gonna skip on analyzing it because there's an area where I can see it very easily. Laters. Anyway, you wanna move that pipe all the way over to the left like this. Watch. And this brings you upward! With. Three treasure chests! One has a courage shell! Um. I got tap syrup, I don't need it. This one has a castle black key, yep it does! And the last one I think it was a life shroom? I just remember so many things from this game, I don't even need this, I have two of them. Really, if you're gonna go for life shrooms, two is all you'll need. And you can have that block again to go back down in case you want to. Don't say why you would. Okay, nevertheless. We have- Oh, I forgot to mention these back in Chapter 3. These are Galoombas, not Goombas. They're just twice the average Goomba. Which is insane. And we have Hammer Bros. Once again, and we haven't seen use in Chapter 3. Buff flipping doesn't run the threat, but they are- They have a hard time hitting you in 3D. And Boomer makes for Quirka, though. Ooh, Super Shroom Shake! Can I touch something? Um... You know, I'm just gonna use the ghost room. My, I might as well. This area is very en en this area is very enemy ridden, so makes sense to use it here. If I were being swarmed, I'd use the thun. It, yeah, the pointer thing here is a bit finicky, but I got it. Now I can send this thing to snack on enemies. Ah, 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 ah. I'm gonna go through here. I think we're supposed to go through here. Let's see. Oh, no, but there is something here. Besides curses. Oh, poison mushroom! Curses can occasionally drop those. Doesn't reserve a purpose, it just poisons you. But you go back here. Hidden treasure chest. What's any mask? Ultra Shroom Shake. Uh, shoot. Yeah, I hell, I'm not gonna need two of these. I'll ditch one of them. With how good I am at this game, I never need a, a, a life stream in the main adventure. The only time I ever need a life stream is if I'm taking on the Pit of 100 Trials. And even then, that's if only if I'm playing it recklessly. And my ghost room didn't help much at all. I got rid of the curse is, but that's about it. By the way, a ghost mushroom will a ghost room will attack with the same attack power you yourself have. So since I, since I have 9, yeah 9, it hit enemies for 9 damage with the exception of the regular curse is, since I have a catch card. Again, Fire Bros have a hard time hitting something in 3D. Why can't Hammer Bros, Fire Bros have a hard time hitting something in 3D? So giving them the ability to flip kind of hinders them in a sense. Okay, now, ignore the first two of these. You want to grab the third one. Trust me, okay? You get into a trap regardless, but the third one has significance. I'm trying to remember what's in here. A crow meba. And you know what that means? We get I get to wait here a few minutes while that thing multiplies, because I have a Thunder Rage, which can take them all out at once. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Look at all that chrome. I wonder if one of these guys' name is Google. That would be funny. Oh wait a sec. I'll wait for one more, I think. I think gonna make one more. 
I, once again, I lost a real one in the crowd. Where is it? There it is. Okay, now let's zap them all. No, I'm willing to bet the real one's name is Google. Google Chrome Eva. Ah, ah, ah. I'm sorry. But Thunder Rage, very effective. Oh, I got a replacement item. Ooh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It's a life room. I'll just get the inventory space empty. And the real one. Ugh, I'll ditch it with the store chance, okay? Real one dropped the Castle Blecky, and I got a ton of points out of that. And also a ton of coins out of that. Pretty sweet, ain't it? If it takes a couple of minutes to get a, a great amount of them. You know, I never thought of doing that before Chuck Conroy showed that. Because really, when you see an enemy, the first instinct is to take it down, not let it multiply. <laughs> uh, look at this, Marley. What makes it? You're alright. I saw in the stars you would survive. Heroes do not flee. For I'm the lovely and mysterious Merly. My beauty in the stars led you here. Rest now, for you have nothing to fear. Um, are you really Merly? Whatever it is that you imply, how can anyone wonder if it is I? Look at this lovely aura glow. Does it not tell you all you need to know? Ah. Uh, I will now ask you questions, three. The answers will hold your future's key. And you must answer each and every inquiry honestly and fairly. Here we go, time to start the show. Which one of these beasts is hardest for you to make the cease? The Ultra Shroom! E, that egg is the biggest scare. Next, the clean these fearsome re rouse your knees. The Thunder Rage! Let's get rid of those. E, that's very good to know. Okay, just letting you know. Cooking Mistake will not produce one, it'll produce a lot of them. So, I'm just gonna go with the Amazing Daisy. Just because they give a lot of points. That's Mickey Fury Furious. Indeed, I'm very curious. Oh, it's marvelous one, but our our time together is quite done. Let's do not fear or fret. No, we shall meet again yet. Hee 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 hee. Yeah, similar to Paper Mario 1 with Shy Guy's toy box, depending on what you answer, will impact what you're going for. Though personally, I. Um, I can understand going for the super, Ultra Shroom every time. That's something anyone would do. But I can understand if you don't want to go, go, go for the Thunder Rage or. Yeah, I can understand if you don't want to go for the Thunder Rage. Personally, since I just used one, I want to refresh one. Because Thunder Rages for me are very useful. Now we get to finally get, and the real reason I wanted to show the Amazing Daisy instead of Francis, we actually get the instance of an Amazing Daisy here guaranteed. They are very rare and elusive creatures. 30 HP, 10 attack. Quite devastating, but they're cowards. A trick. If you can, 3,000 points. Ooh, and a gold leaf. Cooking a gold leaf gets you a gold bar like I showed, but I don't really need this. I can buy one from Flim, if I'm lucky. Anyway, a good strategy. Let them sing their song, and while they're standing still, wail on them. It's a bit of a risky strategy, but it's effective. Oh. Eek! What are you trying to pull? Impossible! That almost rhymed. I put everything you hate in there. How'd you get through all that icky stuff? Unless you bad people were lying! How dare you lecture us? You were just pretending to be Merlon and me, really. Talk about dirty trick. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed? Of myself? I like getting what I want, so I do whatever I need to get it. You don't have a lot of time to get rescued by boys. That's embarrassing. Yeah, you sure are a lot of talk when you have your little boyfriend to protect you. Oh, that's crossing a line right there. Y you Very well. If you insist, I'll give you what you shall richly deserve. But Princess Beach, you're not really going to... Stay out of this! I'm a princess, and she just threw mud at my dignity! You two leave me be. Understood? I understand, yes. Yeah. They're being smart. Aw, the pretty rude princess wants to face me all alone. Boy, it sure would be sad if your boyfriend had to cry or spill peaches. <laughs> and once again! Creepy! Seriously, what was Nintendo thinking when they did that? <laughs> Try not to cry, or all your pretty makeup will run. Time to go bye bye. Man. Okay, Mimi! She has unknown HP, 4 attack, and same moves as last time, but she's a bit faster. Honestly, this isn't a hard fight in the slightest. Chaga had a ton of trouble with this fight, but only because he was reckless. Oh, I should probably get the row out here. 
Barry, I think, could also work, but Thoreau is probably your best bet. Our type can catch you off guard, but this might... It's... Ah. Uh. I swear, I, I'm not gonna lose even a life stream to this fight, because I have never, ever had trouble with this. Especially since I typically use Peach against Mimi. So, even then. That's actually pathetically easy to avoid, ironically. Okay, good way for her to throw two rubies at me. Okay, there we go. That's an arc. That's an leg. You keep on her! This is not a hard fight in the slightest, and just defend yourself or keep moving, take your back, I'm gonna defend myself. I'm amazed that this kind of, that this parasol could withstand any damage, but but one problem I have with this fight. It's hard to tell how many legs you've knocked off unless you can keep in count, because black background, black legs. See the apparent see the inherent issue with that? Ruby Storm. Not gonna have that, even though that attack is perfectly easy to avoid. And we're done! Not that hard, not that hard. I don't get it. I got beat by a princess? Wah! You. Oh, uh, what's the matter, little girl? Did I spank Mimi a little too hard? You did it, princess. The destruction is spreading. If we die any longer, we're doomed. You're right. Let's go. Mimi, you can't stay here. Go find somewhere safe. Yeah, right. Like you care. Ah. What's that loud noise? Princess? It, it won't open! No, oh, no! You silly princess, what are you doing? What, what am I doing? I just left an action without thinking. I don't want your stupid help. Just, just leave me alone! No, I can't do that. You've been very, very bad, but I can't leave you to die. I don't know how you were raised, but I was taught to help people in need. Peach. Wait, I've got you. The whole castle shook, and now that door won't open. Yeah. First Bowser, another princess! Oh, what can we do, bro? Mm. We have to keep going. But we can't leave the princess! I know it's horrible, but this is, well, the end of the world. Of all worlds, really. We must press on. Princess Peach would want it that... If it were she here, Ugh, I can't speak. Well, yeah, I guess that is a princess thing to say. I'm worried about Peach, but she probably mad us for wasting time. Okay, bro, let's go. Da, 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 da. End of chapter. And recording's only at 16 minutes, and I'm cutting out a couple of minutes from the Chromeba, so I still got time to do, at least tackle the first half of Chapter 8-3. First Bowser, then the fair Princess Peach were lost to the halls of Castle Black. Would they ever be seen again? Without his allies, could our hero Mario hope to stand against the evil Count Black? The very air in the castle grew heavier and even more ominous with every step. All they could do was plod forward in silence. Chapter 8 3 Countdown to Destruction. Power of the void is growing. I can feel it. The chaos heart is close now. The end of is almost here. We must hurry. Yeah. Okay, we're in the Count Black interior. And look at that! Count Black employed Skeletal Bombers! Combo play! B flower!
Level up! That reminds me of the Gigabyte that foolishly wasted its life for nothing. Ah, ah, ah. After speed comes slow flow. How awesome was that? Power steak. I guess I could use that right now. After that beating I took, I could really use it. Okay. Ooh, new enemy, new enemy! I think this is a hogarhythm. Yes, a hogarhythm. They are pig rhythms, but they're twice as strong. They're more or less the same otherwise. One, two, three. Very really helps take him out. So I guess that's one. Oh, up there, up there, that, that reminds me. This room is actually peculiar. You have to beat all the enemies, but it's very easy to miss this guy. The Sorabat, I think his name is? Yeah, it's so bear bad. I get it, so bear a bad. Ah, 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 ah. Bear bad, but only stronger. Very fleep, or Mario can help you take these things down. They are so easy to kill. Especially with how slow their attack is, they only get hit twice by it. Okay, did I miss a hog rhythm? Let's see. Mm, oh, yes I did. Good thing I checked. I love Barry, he's so useful. Like, he's optional, but it's something you want to go for. Oh, this room! I remember this room! And I remember and I remember this guy. I think this is a Longinator or Longadio. We had Longinator was the last one. 20 HP, 2 attack. Kind of threatening, honestly. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh. Both of us fell to our demise. Well, I didn't really fall to my demise. He fell to his demise. I'm twice. By the way, notice how this mirror doesn't shine. Wait. See? That's your clue. You have to flip here and go to the other side. Pretty neat, ain't it? Okay, so you go over here and you get a Castle Blood Key! Okay. I'm beginning to wonder if this is going to be a shorter episode than usual because there's this point I know I want to end it on. So, but. Well, that was a train wreck. And at the very beginning of the series, I was worried how the Let's Play curse would affect me. I should not have opened my big fat mouth right then. The Let's Play curse has been a cruel, cruel mistress to me throughout this entire LP, let's face it. Mushroom, convenient. Boomerang grow, inconvenient. But berry makes them a bit more bearable. I could say it makes them a bit more variable. Ah, you want to flip here. There's a hidden passage you could easily see. So yeah, I don't think this is going to be a shorter episode because the area I'm thinking I want to stop at is, up, is coming up ahead. My strategy! Just keep jumping on the Koopas. They'll take themselves out. Or you, and you can help. It's kind of amusing, honestly. Okay, you want to freak out Luigi. He's taller, and that's important. Blue magic block. Okay then. So you hit the right block in this room. And that room. The middle one in this room? Yes, the middle one in this room. Oh, no, ooh, those are red magic blocks. They have 50 HP and 6 attack. They're stronger than red mag the blue magic blocks, so keep that in mind. And look at that. Good. And Merly! What do you got for me? A Courage Shell. You know, I actually wouldn't be a bad idea to use that. This, this Courage Shell will most definitely serve me well. Great, now she's got me doing it. Ah, 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 ah. And a guy just about perfect. My defense is increased. That catch ya! <laughs> 
Okay, by the way, this right here is a trap. Hit the block above this door. If I can hit it. There we go. That right there is a trap. It will lead you to a dead end with absolutely nothing in it. And by the way, those are yellow magic blocks. They have 20 HP and 5 attack, an average of the two, so... Honestly, I think they're the most threatening of them, just because they have a good amount of HP, at the, and at the same time, they have a decent amount of attack. But like all matchbots, you can take them down just as easily. Now I'll go through this door. Now these three blocks are different. You want to use Mario and flip you. This chapter is pretty much bro power. One, two, three. Yeah, you're gonna be using a combination of Mario's and Luigi's abilities in this all through this chapter. And the magic blocks are not being smart and teaming up on us. And now with all three blocks pressed in the correct order, the chest appears if they're trying to attack me in the cutscene and actually succeed. Castle Black Key! They're all dead. I'm curious, what's the next level? I don't know, can I reach that before the final boss? Because... I don't know, really. Okay. Anyway, with Castle Black Key in tow, I guess. We head back the way we came in. Oh, I forgot I didn't take them down. Ah, get back here! I love the spike jump. It's so easy to pull off once you get practice. I'm I'm wondering, is that a glitch of some sort? Because I don't know if that was intentional or not. Because, on one hand, it seems like it's an exploit, but on the other hand, it may be a glitch, because I don't know if it... I don't know if you... I don't know. I should probably stop questioning these things. If it, if it helps me, why should I care? I'm not a glitch abuser, so I don't know if I should care. I should probably, I should probably just stop thinking about it. It's there. It's useful. It just That's all that matters. Without balance, of these things are a bit more of a pain to take down. Could just carry it directly, but oh well. I want to make a joke, hang on. I'm going for that boomerang, bro. Throw another boomerang out. I have a joke I want to make. I can actually knock it back down. I'm doing horrible at this. Okay, I'll just leave the joke I want to say. Well, I guess that boomerang really did come back! Yeah, wow! I guess the boomerang really did come back! I got to do it! I got to do it! it. Oh, okay, that's jerkish right there. I was really hurting when they did that to me. Jerks. Okay, this room. Flip, and the path is shown very briefly when you unflip. And like I said, this chapter has gone through with bro power! That skill of Bomber did not have a very good day. <laughs> okay, did I do it right? Uh, yes, I did! Careful, careful, longer dial. In a really, really awkward place. Ugh, I am getting beat up like mad here. The long dial is in a bad place because knockback. Oh, and because slippery control. Ugh, seriously? I'll say this again, the momentum in this game. A little hard to get. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! That long adult cheated death, and I couldn't. Well, this is massively often, and is this one? Oh, oh no, it's that one. I haven't seen any dimensions yet, so I wonder what the deal is. And whoa! 
You can use Barry or Kudge to make this a bit easier. I, I honestly recommend Barry because you can keep on the move. And right, right over here in this block, if I can get over to it. Super Shroom, not an Ultra Shroom, a Super Shroom. Also, clear out the dimensions, and you get rewarded with a Castle Black. Oh no, Thunder Ridge! I already have one. It's the other way I'm thinking of. So, I guess that's there if you want it. But those dimensions are, pu are pushing you towards the center. And now we got the Castle Black Key. Now, what's in this block? Oh, that's why it was only Super Shroom. There's two of them. Why am I killing them? They're helping me along. Get out of here! It was like quite the party that I don't want to be invited to. Which is weird because I love parties. Okay, honestly, this is where I wanted to end. I'm ending it off here. Next time on Let's Play Super Paper Mario, we're going to see what lies beyond this door. You probably all know what it is, but I'll save it for next time. See you guys next time. Take care.